What? He's digging himself out of a hole. I'm trying to. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ian and Jane's back. Hi. Now, obviously, we, if you've not seen one of our videos before, Jane gets involved when we go to Edinburgh Fringe Festival, which we are doing very shortly. And this video is uh, the top 10 things to see at the Edinburgh Fringe 2021. Although in my notes, I did write 2012. Yeah, but I... Reminded him. Yeah, I did correct him. We have notes, as Ian said, because yeah. we can't remember. Can't see. There we are. I don't know whether you do know or not, but uh, this year's Edinburgh Fringe Festival is a bit different. Um, it's going to be much smaller than the normal 300 plus venues and thousands of shows. Uh, there's going to be about checking my notes. Uh, there's 80, 88 venues now. It's worth also noting that some of those are online but we'll come back to that in a minute um and presently i thought i made a note of how many shows there were so far what's happening is that the fringe organization are actually adding shows daily so and they will be adding shows right up until the start of the festival on the 6th of august um we're going to go through what we think, I mean, on previous experience, some of the best shows that, of this year's Fringe, aren't we? We are. Anything else you want to say before I start a kick, kick, kick off into that? No, except that obviously there isn't a paper copy of the Fringe programme this year, sadly. Which Jane, Jane's so upset about that yeah. because you love I'm your Fringe. I'm forced on to yeah. online. Uh, but obviously, by the nature of the fact that it's going to be very different, things are changing every day, yeah. and that's going to be the quickest we way. Un we understand why there's no print, because yeah. They, yeah. they do that weeks, if not months, in advance normally. So it's quite important that they, you know, that we support the fringe in whatever they decide to do. Also, currently, there's normally a really, really good app uh, for your iPhone or whichever phone you, you have. Up to now, that isn't there. Now, there may be one, uh, and I will ask the Fringe organisation, uh, because we, uh, we haven't said, actually, but we, we are both accredited reviewers for the Fringe 2021. Jane's, got, Jane's going to have a Yay. lanyard, which she didn't have in 2019. So, they, so we don't actually know if there's going to be a Fringe app. The, the way that the Fringe is working, there are in-person um, shows, just like normal, now, obviously, in Scotland, COVID restrictions are still in place until I think the 9th of August. Um, and then thing, we've got they've got a one metre plus, um, whereas obviously in here in, the, in England, uh, that's all that's all gone. Um, so we're going to have face to face. We're going to have online. Now, there's two types of online. There's online demand, which basically means that once the fringe starts, you can watch that show at any time. And the other type is online scheduled. Uh, so there are some shows, and some of the shows that we're recommending uh, are scheduled and on demand as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll start off with the first one. And, now, and these are not in any particular order. No. These just, most of this is based around people that we've seen in the past. Okay? And the first one is Trevor Locke who, uh, if you've seen our 2019 review, and I'll put the links to that down below, with his community circle. And we're actually going to, for the first time this year, we're going to try another couple of other things. We're going to try live streaming. The first one is going to be as a test this Sunday before we go. <laughs> it could be a complete disaster. And if it is a complete disaster, or nobody bothers to turn up, 
will not do them, but actually we're, we're hoping people turn up. <laughs> it could be utterly hilarious and we won't be doing it again. <laughs> so we're saying turn up if, you, if you're interested. Um, I forgot what I lost my train of thought there. So You're talking about Trevor. Trevor, yeah. Now, Trevor is only there... Well, he's got three shows. We're going to come to the shows. But for Community Circle, he's got um, four dates starting on the 21st. Uh, now, we won't be able to see Community Circle this year because, and we've been every other year for the past three, four years. Mm -hmm. we, and it's, br it's a brilliant show. It's one of the funniest things on the fringe. Very simple idea, and I won't say any more than that, but it's a must-see show. And, and we we both gave it five stars last yep. time. Yep. Um, it's on the 21st, 24th, 26th and 28th. Uh, okay. Do you want to read the next one out? That, that's a, another, the next one is, is Trevor's show as well. Oh, I see. Right. So, okay. So it's called We Are Each Other, and that is is going to be on the 22nd, 25th, 27th and 29th. So they're alternate days to when the Community Circle are and they're, they're, all those shows are on at Summers Hall. Okay, and then he's doing um, on the 6th of August only. No, 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 sorry, he's not. Oh. He's from the 6th of August and we don't sorry. know how okay. how long. Now, I beg your pardon. It's worth mentioning that... Show His notes. My notes. I mean, my notes. And I mean, Jane's doing a really good job of reading my scribbly writing because I don't normally write and I normally use a device. Um, yeah, so this is not in the Fringe programme. So this is almost like a secret gig. Starting on the 6th, and we think it's going to be daily. We'll find out because we're going to interview him uh, nearer the time we're up there. Uh, and it's called, a uh, very strange title, Different Improvisational Social Experiment. Now, that might actually not be the title. It's just, I sent a message to Trevor and said, I can't find a show that's going to be at Bannerman's uh, from the 6th. What's it called? And that's what he tweeted back. Okay. So we think that's what it's called. We'll find out more when we talk when we actually meet him. Um, we are going to that. We're going to go to that if not, we haven't quite picked a time or a date yet. But we're actually definitely going to come and go and see that. Okay. Um, I took it off you. So do you, you want to do the next one? You did. Do you want me one? to do the next one? Yeah, the next one. I need glasses for this. Uh, right. Um, the Slinks, who um, sadly are not going to be there in person uh, this year, but we saw them in 2019 several times, and we've been in touch with them. Ever since, we thought they were fantastic. But they are available on YouTube uh, and it's free to watch. So that's called The Sleep. So we will put that link down below. Uh, and it's Hugo and Lily are The Slinks. They're actually, they're actually a, a musical act called Voulez Vous, but the show is called The Slinks. It is absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't lose anything mm. by being online. Uh, so I went back and watched it again and I, I went back to make sure it was still there so we could recommend it So it's a previous fringe show free to watch. Just go on YouTube links down below Okay, uh, the next one is another show that we saw in 2019 But we just thought this was absolutely brilliant and we just told people about it all the time we We're there in 2019 and it's just in it's called police cops now This is the first show that is available online on demand from the 6th um oh no I'm, yes that's right and it's it's um it's via assembly show catcher now what we don't know at this point is i've noted there are 16 different online venues as part of that uh, 88 number of venues what we don't know is do you have to go to a a, a different website each time or is there a different app uh, and we'll find out more of these as we actually start to use them um, that is on demand from the 6th of uh, August next one right me again um, and this it's police cops again this is their new show right uh, so it's in person they're there from the 16th to the 29th and it's called Badass Be Thy Name and it's going to be on at the Assembly in George Street Gardens. So that's their in-person show. So, yeah, sadly we won't be there to no, see No, because we leave on the 15th. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we would 
we would definitely be going because we want to see those guys again because the, the, the Police Cops original show was a complete sellout, yeah. wasn't it? I and mean, we met one of the guys uh, when he was flyering for the show and we, said, we, we told them how much we thought about the show and it was great. And they were, by that time, that was middle of the first week of the fringe yeah. it was selling out and it did pretty much yeah. sell out the whole of the, the the month i mean it was just some of the visual um creations that they produced on stage were some of the best i've ever seen yeah it was um, absolutely it, brilliant fantastic absolutely brilliant um next we have our old favorite kevin who is the falsetto sock puppet theater now Kevin's only doing he's doing two shows and they're they're not on demand they are online and they are gonna be for one day only. The first show is called it's a is is revamped a show that he did in two thousand fifteen which I don't think we saw. No. I can't quite remember it. No. We were there in two thousand fifteen, weren't we? Oh, we? Don't know. No. Don't know. So it's a pregnant pause there. Uh, I mean, we obviously we've been going since the eighties, uh, but yeah. anyway. First went most, in eighty five. There you go, eighty five. Um, so anyway, Kevin's show is um, going to be on the sixth of August. It's called Ming and Detectives, and it's on Zoom. You access that via the Fringe Online website to book tickets. Um, we would normally have been because we're not. Like I said we're not sure it's a show that we've seen. We would normally be going to see that, but actually we're already double booked because we're going to see, I need to, do you want to just tell me about the next one while I find out what we're actually going to go and see? The next one is still uh, socks and it's, it's on the 20th. Right, so this one of uh, Kevin's is called Eurovision Song Contest. Sorry, Eurovision Sock Contest, it's Ian's writing. Um, on the 20th of August, and that is in the same format. Yes, yeah, it's going to be on Zoom via the Fringe uh, online website. Okay. Yeah, no, the reason we can't go is we're going to see something that we think is absolutely bonkers. It's called Not the Trilogy. Now, we don't know whether we're even going to like this or not. It's two and a half hours, it's online, and it's via an app, so we think we have to download an app. Um, and the, the interesting thing about this is it's in three venues or three places. The first one is we have to be on a park bench. Uh, the second one we have, this is the really good one, we have to be in a car. We're going up on the train. Um, so we're so, going to be asking people if we can borrow their car for half an hour, 40 minutes so that we can participate. It's a... We don't really know very, very little about it. Is it's done? It has to be done on headphones, so it's a, an immersive environment. And the last one is easy because uh, it needs to be done in a room in your house. Well, we've rented the flat, so we're going to just do it in the flat when we get there. But the car is interesting. So sorry, Kevin, we can't come to your show because we're at not the trilogy. But we will be coming to the show, of the the, 20th. the Eurovision sock contest on the twentieth. We'll be back in in Yorkshire by then but we'll we'll see it via Yorkshire okay yeah um, uh, should I do the next yeah one? do the yeah. next one right we... the next ones um we can't say that we've seen Barry Fern before but it was the whole concept rather intrigued us because it's Barry Fern stands up for 2021 on top of Arthur's seat well to our shame in all the years we've been in Edinburgh, we've never actually made it up to the top of Arthur's Seat. So, we know that it'll take us an hour to get up there. <laughs> and an hour to get I have got down. a dodgy knee. So, we have allocated at least three, three hours, hours for this. Yeah. Um, and if you, do, if you don't know what Arthur's Seat is, you've never, never heard of Edinburgh. It's an extinct volcano, literally. Yeah. Right, I mean... Edinburgh, the city is sort of built around. It's a hill. It's a it's a it's I a mountain. It's, so somebody described it. I looked at the, the the roads up, the the paths up, and somebody decided this isn't a hill. This is a mountain. So, so you never know. We might not make it. We are hoping to go and we, see. It rather intrigues us. Yeah. We like things like that. So it starts on the seventh of August and it goes through to the twenty eighth, 
and it's free. Uh, the last two are not shows, um, but they are alternatives to the, shall we say, the official fringe. Um, and one of those is, there, over the, the last probably what, 15, 20 years, I don't quite remember when it started, there is a, an alternative free fringe. Uh, and there are a, a couple of those that are worth looking at. One is the Peter Buckley Hill version, which is the PHB uh, free fringe. just the last one mm. um, yeah and this the, one is definitely there yeah uh this is the last sorry laughing horse free festival and a lot of their events are do feature on the um on the fringe program online when i say online a lot of them are in person some of them are online but you need to go and have a look um and it's they're both free but they do um depend on you giving donations at the end so there will be a bucket yeah i mean the because the laughing horse one is definitely on the the, the yeah, fringe shows and, yeah. and the way that they're doing it currently is that i mean normally what you do is you rock up you see the show and they'll ask for a donation they say either send a bucket round or as they as you come out you put some money in and it could even put as much as you like in this year they are actually doing pre-tickets um, and they've done them in sort of banks, so the minimum is two pound fifty up to I think some of them were quite you know, like twenty quid, you know. Um, so you can, if it, if it's already a popular show, or you think you you definitely want to see it on a certain date, you can pre-book a ticket for as little as two pound fifty. Um, and then you, if, and then if you really really enjoy it and you want to give a bit more, you can give a bit more on the on the actual when you actually go see it. So that is definitely worth looking looking out for, uh, and that's probably about it, isn't it? Did mm. I put anything else on here? Uh, no. Nope. Yeah, website text map for Peter Buckley Hills, BBH. Um, okay. So, thanks so much for watching. We'd like to see you on Sunday. What's the date? Sunday, the first of August. Yorkshire Day. I'm wearing my Yorkshire hat because it's Yorkshire Day on Sunday. No, I'm wearing my hat because my hair's a mess and it needs cutting. Um, it will be cut before Sunday. Won't it, darling? Yes. Um, so come and see us on Sunday if you can. Um, even if just to watch us make a complete mess of trying to do, trying to do an online YouTube thing we've never done before via an iPad because that's what we, how we're doing it. Okay. Um, the proper reviews, vlogs, stuff will start um, on the 3rd. We travel on the 3rd, so we might do a bit of... Yeah. Try and do some little bits of filming while we're on the journey, but fundamentally, our first show... We've booked, we've, 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 we've booked a load of shows, which we've paid, paid for, um, and as reviewers, we may get some complimentary tickets um, which we've requested a few of those. We've uh, we've outlined about thirty odd shows already, and we're there for how many? For, is it fourteen days? Um, slightly less. Slightly less. So we've twelve days. Twelve days. Yeah. We, I mean, in twenty nineteen, we saw thirty five shows in ten days, which was going some, wasn't it? And we did a, a YouTube review for each one of those. We're going to try the same do that same mm. we may end up doing a complete roundup of the shows that we've seen and, not, and we're going to play it by year again because obviously until we go we don't know what's available um, no. and it won't be the same as it was two years ago so um yeah so we will adapt but it's always a good idea um to have a sort of skeleton of shows once you've had a look and pick things that you think you might like to go to um 
and then you know you've got some shows to go to and then you can pick up word of mouth and just by walking about and chatting to people and things um you know and then you'll add to it uh, but it is a good idea to have a what well, yeah it's like a, a framework that you can add to it's um, also sorry yeah no, that's all right. it's also worth mentioning that we don't tend to go for the big comedians um Mainly because no. you, you see them on telly all the time, uh, and, and we have seen them in the past. We saw Jason, J Jason Manford when he was. He was a. He was we, no, not, we saw him. No, we're going to say nobody. He wasn't a nobody, no. but nobody. He was on. A, a, it was a lunchtime, lunchtime show. show. Five they, minutes he did, yeah. and then we went to see his show yeah. based on that. So yeah. we we like to try and see see the the little guys, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. and you, I mean, you see some fantastic stuff. You also see some rubbish, really. I mean, you know, we have been known to walk out of shows. Uh, we don't like doing that and we don't, we don't really want to review. We understand that, you know, these people, it's hard work putting the show together, whatever yeah. the show is. Yeah. So it is a little bit harsh, maybe, to use the R word. We don't, if we don't what's, what's like it, rubbish. I oh, think because right, of okay. the effort and the time, yeah. we, we're not taking a show. You know, we enjoy the creativity and just the buzz of the place. Um, and you pick things that you think, oh, you know, that sounds interesting. Or I like the story or the narrative that they're, the show is going to be about. I mean, I go mostly for theatre. Um, and we have seen some amazing things over the years. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And we've seen some very funny things. Um, so it's it's worth... It's worth going to. Uh, certainly, I mean, the we did the, the, those thirty-five shows that we saw in twenty nineteen. There was only one show, and it wasn't rubbish. We just didn't like it, so we yeah, left early. I think that's that's. Uh, a, so maybe I shouldn't. I apologise no, no, for using the rubbish should, word because people word. put an awful lot of effort into they everything they do. they do. You know, and we are massively supportive of everybody that, and you know, and I think that particular show, we 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 just said we didn't review it. Because yeah. other people yeah. would go, and other people were going because you know, and it was saying it was it was right up their street, really. So yeah. you know, it, it's a personal opinion. Who's to say we're right? Exactly. Really. Exactly. But the majority of stuff, so, say ninety nine point nine 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 percent of stuff we see, has been you know, good or great. <laughs> what he's digging himself out of a hole. <laughs> Trying to. <laughs> okay. Right, anything else? Nope. Um, see you Sunday. Um, thanks for watching. If you like what we do, hit the subscribe button. And we're giving the whole month of August over to the Jane and Ian show. Um, well, I've so, been promoted, chaps. So those those guys who regularly watch the synths reviews and the music stuff and all that, it will be back, but it won't be back until the end of August or early September. So hang on in there. Okay, and we'll see you next time. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, all that usual sort of rubbish. Okay, okay bye. thanks very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> can I get off my cushion now? Yes, you can get off your cushion. <laughs> Sit on a cushion. No, I'll get one of those. Okay, give me. I need a cushion. I'm six foot tall and I need a cushion. Yes, you do. You're this this month in the house too. Right, go and sit down. In the back, that's it. Down. I think that's better. I need a cushion. Oh, that's better. Six foot. I need a cushion. Okay. Yeah. Go cool. on. Um, Sorry, we should have done proper research for that. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I failed miserably. I know I did some, do some proper research. I noticed you think, that. I know, you think he's. I not never sick. thought to actually write down that because oh, that he's doing another show. Right. Okay. 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 Right. Moving okay. on. Uh,